Hello, my name is Miss Wynn. Welcome to Summer Learning for English 1. I'm an English 2 teacher, but I've taught English 1 before. I've been teaching summer school for a long time now. Um, I love to draw. I love to read, obviously. And I love dogs. And here's this guy. He will be making frequent visits in our video chats and my videos. Basically, I'm just here to help you out. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns throughout this, but please watch this entire video to kind of get a glimpse of what this six weeks will look like. At any point that you may need to contact me, my email is right here. Please email me. You're here because you either didn't get credit for semester one, semester two, or the entire year for English 1. And now we're here to remediate. Luckily, we're here, we're gonna work hard, and I can't wait to be part of that process and get to know you a little bit better. Uh, first of all, I have a form for you. If you could fill that out for me, that would be great. And some basic questions, just getting a feel for who you are and what you need. So some general announcements. Summer school starts today and it ends on July 10th. However, I want you to finish your, all your assignments by June 30th. If you want to exempt the STAR test, you need to pass this course by the 30th. If it takes you longer than the 30th, that means you will have to take the STAR test in December. So please try to get everything completed before the 30th. We plan to make weekly goals um, so you have all these assignments to do before the 30th and we'll, we're going to chunk it out for you. Uh, but if you want to just dive on in and complete everything as quickly as possible but still passing, then you certainly can do that. And we're going to have Google Meets every single day. I know that's a lot, but that's the norm that we expect. So I have my schedule on the slides. Basically, Monday, Wednesday, Friday are check-in days. You just pop in from 9 to 10 30 like 30 minute increments so pop in tell me how you're doing what you need help with pop out but tuesday and thursdays we're meeting as an entire class so you have to attend so tuesdays and thursdays we're going to come in either from 9 to 10 or to 10 to 11. but this may change as we see how you're progressing over time just know that this Monday we're meeting at 10 o'clock. It'll be fun. Okay, to get started, join my Google Classroom, which you already should since you're watching this video. Log into Ingenuity, use those slides. For semester one and two, there's basically three units in each semester. Each unit has various topics ranging from three to 11. Same within each topic, there are there is a structure and it's very repetitive, so just get used to the format of warm-up, instruction, assignment, more instruction, summary, and then a quiz. Most units have a test. Some of them have multiple tests. Please take your time and do well and pace yourself on these units. Also, there's exams like end of the semester exams, but you can be exempt from them. If you maintain an average of at least an 80, you can be exempt from those exams and that will save you a lot of time. So make sure you take your time, pace yourself accordingly. And basically your week looks like just working on ingenuity. Every single day you're gonna log in and work and work and work until you finish and know that on Tuesdays and Thursdays we're meeting as a class. Um, and Monday, Wednesday, Fridays we're meeting just to check in. Helpful tips. Um, to survive and to thrive during this. Make sure during the assignments um, and quizzes, you're highlighting, you're reading actively. That's what a strong reader does. You're taking notes. There are different ways to take notes. You can have pen and paper. You can um, print the notes. You can use Ingenuity's eNotes and you can use all that during the quizzes and assignments. Also pace yourself. You do not have to just complete everything. You actually have to pass. Also try to do a little bit every single day. A little bit goes a long way 
And lastly, advocate for yourself. Ask for help when you need it. And if you come across any issues with ingenuity, there's a slide with information. And that's really it. I can't wait to meet you. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here for you. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Bye.